All right, everybody, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Here we are on Stoneblock episode five, of course, made by Darren Shops in Squidgy Face Place here on the marketplace. And uh, yeah, I know in the previous episode, we really went ahead and we started using our uh, Smelter's Forge, and we also got ourselves a cobblestone generator as well as some other cool things um, found out. And um, one thing that we found out about the cobblestone generator um, is that you can actually upgrade it by using like a iron block and then a gold block and then emerald diamond block, etc, etc, all the way up to like a amethyst block, I think. Um, so yeah, I have enough iron actually on me, or at least iron gravel ore, as you could call it, to uh, actually upgrade this and then I just have this extra piece. I'll make a block that we can upgrade it we can see how it looks like and how it goes um but no it's been giving me cobblestone it's been doing its job um yeah no but i believe our latest quest if i am so mistaken it is to make ourselves a drill uh sneak there we go yeah i think our current quest is yeah we need to craft a drill so if we go back home very cool and put our emergency library book back away if we go in Advanced Recipes Volume 2, it wants us to create a drill, which is some planks, a circuit board, some sticks, and stone. Um, and this circuit board is, uh, yeah, I know. I've been reading some things in the Discord, Dan's Discord, and at first I thought to make this uh, circuit board, I thought for uh, the redstone, which you can't get by sieving, you need to, uh, like, I thought you get it from, like, using this uh, drying rack. But no, um, I don't know. Uh, you actually have to um, sieve not only gravel, but you can sieve sand and dirt and stuff like that. So I want to try that out. I want to try getting myself uh, this stuff. Um, so if I just really just want to test it out real quick, because I don't think I ever sieved anything other than gravel. And I'm pretty sure, like, why wouldn't you be able to? Wait, if I just, yeah, you can, oh, you can see whatever. Oh, wait, so I bring this down all the way to sand. And I get what I got a sea pickle. Wait, can't you smelt a wait? Wait, can't you smelt a sea pickle to get green dye? If I'm if I if I'm thinking correctly, you can smelt this to get green dye. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get green dye from smelting this. So that's our green dye, and then we need to get a little bit more uh, sand and make ourselves. Oh, it's lime dye. Oh, okay. So it may still be the jungle, or maybe the drying rack, um, if we get the jungle sapling. But aside from that, because there's an iron block, I'm not sure really how to do it. I just right click? Oh, you do! Okay, cool. So it gets a whole different little cover, a whole different texture. That's so cool. So yeah, after that, then you can uh, upgrade it further. But I think right now, this is doing all right. I can literally go AFK, and I'll just get infinite, uh, or infinite cobblestone. Um, so yeah, no, I think I'm going to do a little bit of work. I'm going to do a little, little, little bit of exploring on try how to find that green dye i'm having i have a feeling that uh it's on this drying rack that i uh put a jungle sampling on it because i mean that makes sense but if not uh maybe if i sieve more sand who knows the sand might give me a, like a cactus because I, I for right now it looks like it gave me like stuff from the ocean um but sand is also like you know it's also you know in a desert <laughs> so I don't know we can test it out if I get anything else you got a lily pad got some sugar cane yeah so it's not just like underwater stuff it seems like just general crops so yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna do a little bit of testing with the sieve and I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna try to find out uh, how we can get that green dye but the rest of the dye is for sure with the sand so I think I just need to go ahead and get myself that circuit board which uh yeah this uh copper ingot is also is very easy don't worry we have a uh, all of this um i could probably smelt that as i speak right now yeah i might just get get this fellow to smelt um i know it is you can save on uh what do you call it fuel by you putting it in the forge but i i can't be bothered <laughs> um i have plenty of coal you can see um oh wait i did <laughs> i did it wrong wait <laughs> i keep on getting that messed up there we go so that'll give us two copper ingots um and yeah the rest of it seems easy um yeah oh wait gold ingot hmm that may be a little bit more difficult that's yeah yeah that may be a little bit more difficult but uh yeah if you're not already also make sure to leave a like and subscribe as always it really does help the channel um <laughs> just gotta just gotta plug that um but you know i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna figure out how to get the circuit board made and i'll come back to you guys once i have it all set and ready 
All right, guys, I am back and I have all the materials I need to make the circuit board. And I know I kind of just jumped ahead. I didn't tell you guys anything how I got this. Don't worry, I'm going to explain it all right now. So basically, if you want to get green dye, you get sand and then you put it to a sieve and then eventually you will get cactus and you just want the cactus get green dye easy as that um the copper ingot you already know just gravel in the sieve all that good stuff um the redstone got me the redstone took me a second i even had to check back on the sieve book for redstone you need to sieve clay yeah clay if you go in here i was like checking all these like yeah i did all these like a good amount except for a soul sand obviously since i don't have it and i was like the clay is the only one so i i got tons of these little water stuff i was just making clay over and over and if you sieve clay enough you will get redstone just raw redstone out of clay and then for the gold ingot gold is also just from the uh normal sand um so yeah there's also red sand that you can make which gave me all of this stuff or, or you can make red after sand if after you after you hammer down dirt to get sand if you do sand and again if you hammer sand again you get red sand which gives you like tons of different stuff as well um i don't think i use any of it in this recipe but it's there unless i'm just getting this stuff mixed up and i'm actually just dumb um you know aside from that i uh, yeah that's pretty much it hopefully that explains it for you guys i know that's a big cut but that took me like a good second to like sit down do a little looking i read the books look i got stuck i was confused a second i went and i read the book i'm trying to sieve something or trying to find something to sieve boom i checked the book it says clay all right let's try that and then boom just like that so if we go into here we can go ahead and make a sort oh we get two that is so cool okay so we got a circuit board not bad now we gotta make the drill so now the drill so cool you get to search this up okay the drill this is like extremely easy okay this is like almost free i'm just gonna put a hole in my wall and i'm gonna smelt this uh with this old wooden pickaxe all right and then we're about to just get the drill because that that's super easy we already have the sticks or i can get the sticks right here yeah no so uh then boom then we go boom we got the drill just like that all right so i guess i gotta place it um time to craft a drill yeah so should i read a book on the drill oh i guess i can place it down and then check um where did advanced recipes go i think i lost advanced recipes unless i put in one of these extra chests it's somewhere um you know so i guess i just put the drill right here oh okay okay that's an awesome animation by the way oh my gosh all right so yeah drill me up okay i dan that's okay i'm not i'm not gonna say nothing uh <laughs> all right challenge 24 now you have the drill why not try to make some slow conveyor belts to go along with the drill? what have a look in the bumper book of blocks to help craft the conveyor belt blocks um did they just give me a melon seed what because I, I just heard like the grinder sound. What? Is it trying to drill for stuff? I'm so confused. I'm just going to conveyor. I can just type this in conveyor belt. Okay. Noble conveyor belt. Black wool stone. Wait, this is so easy. I got that black dye from here. I got black dye. So we just got to get some string. Uh, I think you just put cobwebs in here. Yeah, we just got some tons of tons of wool. Oh my gosh. And then, yeah, I don't even have to make a cut. So I was about to say, all right, I'll make a cut. Let's do this. But no, this is like hella easy. Um, well, since I already have the circuit board, um, no more conveyor belt. Yeah, I'm waiting up. That's so cheap. Just two black wool. Yeah, no, that is like very affordable. I'm more than happy to do that. Where did my... There we go. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> it's just like that. And we have the conveyor belt. Alright. So that's going to be another challenge down. That is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Alrighty. Alright. Conveyor belt. Oh my god. Nope. That could be good. Slow no one. No one. Oh. For the no one I need an iron circuit board. Oh I did not even notice that. I can make a slow one, which I mean is, wait, is it? 
Oh, okay, it says to make the silk conveyor belt. Okay, so I was making the right one anyways, okay. So, silk conveyor belt. Awesome. Um, wow, okay. Challenge 25, you're really moving things along. Now you have conveyor belts. Try to craft some bonsai pots. That is one thing I really do want to make. The bonsai plot? Or bonsai pot? I think that's the last thing I'm going to do for today's episode. I'm going to make a bonsai pot. All right, so I'm going to go get the resources for that. It's only like nine iron or... Yeah, nine iron in a chest. Not that bad. I'm gonna go grind that out to catch you guys back when I have a bonsai pot made. All right, welcome back. Here we are. I got enough iron for the bonsai plant. Also, this guy has been spitting out like cobblestone honeycombs, beetroot seeds. I, yeah, and also, oh yeah, I put the conveyor belt here. So basically, if you put an item on the conveyor belt, it'll just actually go on its own wherever or wherever the path follows. So you combine these, you can make it turn too, you know, you want it to turn. Now this is super easy to break too. You want it to turn? Just go like that. And then once you know it goes down. Uh, oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Um, you know, I just thought I'd place this down for like, I mean, why not? Um, it's basically, it'll go in the direction that you're facing. So you want to like, you want to basically, if you're trying to make it go, you want to build it in its path. So you say you want to go from here to there, you would build it going like this, rather than placing it to the side, yada yada. Um, you know, I got the iron right here. I could go ahead and make myself a hopper. Uh, or I need a chest and then a hopper. There we go. Then we go ahead and get ourselves a bonsai plant. Now, Ben, I think I'll put this fella right there. And okay, wow, challenge complete mini trees. Awesome, now you have bonsai plants. Things will get easier, but you can eat, keep, but you can really get automation going for stone golem. Stone golem? All right, we've got a bonsai plot uh, little thing <laughs> book. A bonsai pot is a place to grow small mini versions of your favorite trees. In the next couple of pages, you will learn how to use them. Uh, once you place a bonsai pot, you need to add either grass or dirt to the pot, then you're free to place any sapling of your choice on it. Uh, once it's in the pots, it will generate materials based on the sapling type. You can also put either crimson and warped nylium into the pot. Oh, so I can get crimson and warped fungus, all that good stuff on it as well. The bonsai pot has a small five slot inventory to collect materials. However, you can use hoppers underneath them to collect and move the items around. Awesome. Alright, so not bad at all. That sounds pretty cool. And I'm going to put, obviously, the very best uh, type of sapling. Um, there we go. Dark oak. Who doesn't like a dark oak? Oh, look, look at him. Look at that way. I gotta... Look at that animation. Look at that. That's actually so cool. And did it... Oh, I guess it's just like a standard animation, but does it mean it's gonna always... Unless it went inside the furnace. Will it automatically go in a furnace? No, it only go into a hopper set. <gasps> yeah, so I just got a dark oak sapling back. Cool. I'm assuming you'll give sticks, apples, uh, dark oak logs, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but it looks like every, every other time this, like, sprout- Oh, it just sent- actually, no, what? Is it dark oak leaves? Yeah, no, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. We have this stone golem that wants me to build. What's this all about? Stone golem deactivated. Hay bale chiseled stone brick. Okay. Wait, is it that same stone golem? Yeah, no, that's pretty easy to do, but I think I might say that for the next episode because we got a lot of stuff done today's episode. We went ahead and upgraded our cobblestone generator. We went ahead and got a bonsai pot. We went ahead and got a drill and conveyor belts. We got tons of crazy stuff. We figured out how to get redstone, gold, all that cool stuff. You know, I think today's been a very, very productive day here in Stoneblock. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe as always. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.